Central Virginia Auto Show, and they have the owner of a 2011 Chevy Camaro. Your name? Florentino Legaspi. How you doing? Oh, well, pretty good. All right, can you tell us a little bit about your car here? Yes, it's a, uh, it's a 2011 uh, Chevy Camaro, originally a V6 car. Oh, wow. I bought it with the purpose of doing this to it. I uh, drove it home and uh, about 18 months ago and started cutting it apart. <laughs> wow. So how long have you had it? Uh, about 20 months, a little, you know, a little under two years. I started building it in uh, February of 18. Well, I'm no expert, but that's not a V6. What are you running? It is a big block Chevrolet. It's a little bit stroked out board, uh, 454 production block motor. Um, it originally is a nitrous motor, but we've been making some changes. And all of it hadn't made back on yet, okay. but it is converted. We run it on E85 now. Uh, what about the carburation? It is two 1050 dominators uh, built by Pro Systems to run on E85. Nice. What about the uh, exterior modifications? Um, as far as the body, this is all original GM metal. Wow. I haven't changed anything, all original steel, no fiberglass anywhere, all original GM glass, original paint. Haven't had a chance to repaint it yet. Really? Um, so I tried to be delicate with the build and do everything, but other than that, we cut it out to a a shell and uh, wrapped around a bunch of chromoly tubing. Wow, transmission? Uh, turbo 400, reverse valve body, um, trans brake, it's a competition trans. Car was originally built, well, plus built to be raced also, not just pro street. Street and race? Yes. So it is built uh, with a SFI 2, a 25 2 chassis cert. And your rear, strange? It's source. all internals, every Thing strange cells pretty much is on this car as far as parts. So. I assume like a nine inch? It is a fabricated nine inch housing. Um, they're ultra case, 40 spine axles, um, Pro Molly housing also. So, uh, future plans? Uh, Coming over to winter to get the car painted, add some graphics to it. We're going bigger motor over the winter. Okay. This motor was in a previous build I had, I sold. Uh, about a year and a half ago to build this car and I kept the power train so I used it to build this, get her on the road and going and then I'll upgrade as a, as I have time because I wanted to get her on the road. So what color are you going with? Actually we're staying, the car is going to stay silver but we're going to put uh, up in the air, we're thinking about doing like a flame, purple flame in the front. I see some of the roll bars and all our yep, tubes yep. are already it's, purple. Yeah, we're calling that my signature. Purple is um, one of my favorite colors. There you go. And my last car was done with the same basic chassis set up in color. Very nice. Try to keep all these little uh, Dash rear panels wow. somewhat. Uh huh. Um, with the features we needed to go racing wow. and drive it on the street. It's definitely a pro street everything then, right? Excuse me? <laughs> definitely a pro street. Yes, sir. Everything was built uh, at home and in a two-car garage. Where are you located? I live here in Virginia Beach. Oh, okay. Yep, I'm about uh, 10 minutes from the oceanfront. Nice. You have uh, rack and pinion steering? Yes, sir. Uh, rack and pinion, uh, strange strut front end. Um, I decided to go with this car because uh, I like my cars low and mm -hmm. I want to build something I can get as low as uh, I could and I've, I'm happy with the stance of it. it uh, I can go lower but I don't think I can drive it. Right. I'm on the street anyway. Just can't go over speed bumps. Yeah, we it really the car itself, the body is the lowest point. Hey, you said this was a V6 car originally? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, Can I ask sir. what you paid for it? I know it wasn't in this condition. No, it was a clean car, running and driving. Uh, I paid $8,500 for it as a wow. running and driving car. It's worth a lot more than that now, huh? I hope so. <laughs> uh, what kind of horsepower are you putting out? The motor itself is about 800, a little attach over um, at the crank on motor, but we do run two stages of nitrous on it normally. Right now it's off because I just redid the intake. Oh. So, And we should be right around, not a whole lot of hit, but about 1,200 with the nitrous. Nice.